Okay, here we go. Let's set up the 7300 for using WSJTX and uh, JT65, JT9 whisper modes. And uh, the first thing uh, I'm going to go through are the uh, connectors, the settings there. And uh, hit the menu key, set, connectors. And uh, this is to get your radio ready to connect to Ham Radio Deluxe. Uh, I try not to change these, and uh, if you look at my other videos, I've only uh, changed a couple of things. Uh, I believe my uh, AF output level has changed a little bit. But uh, let's just go through these, and I'll put some snapshots up on my website. You can uh, click through those. Uh, the next part, uh, I believe I changed the USB modulation level a little bit. I've lowered it since uh, some of my first videos. The data off modulation is mic ACC, the accessory, and down. Data modulation set to USB. Let's take a look at CIV because I use two cables, uh, CIV cable for rig control and then the USB cable for uh, data modes and keying. Let's take a look at CIV. I have the baud rate set to auto. Everything else, uh, I believe it's all the, the default. And we'll go back here. The USB uh, serial function is CIV. And then the last page, uh, USB send is set to RTS. I have DTR and then DTR down here. And that's because I use uh, that uh, USB cable for COM port keying. I like to do uh, FSK when using Digital Master 780. Or uh, when I use uh, MMTTY, I'll use FSK. So uh, those are the settings there, and if you were just using uh, a USB cable, and I've done that before, uh, and you don't care about uh, FSK or uh, CW, uh, then you could just set this USB send uh, to off, and uh, just use the, the USB cable. And we'll take a look at Ham Radio Deluxe uh, when we connect, and uh, the settings on it. So uh, now that you're set up uh, for uh, connecting uh, with your rig control, there's a few other things we want to do uh, before we uh, uh, go into that. You know, we want to set the rig up for uh, digital mode. And uh, one of the first things we want to do is change over to data, USB D. And uh, we want to go in, hit the function, and we want to turn the noise reduction, noise blanker off. And I like to have AGC turned off. And uh, I'll show you how to turn AGC off. If you hold in that soft key a second, it'll bring up this menu. And normally the default is the fast is 0.3. But I want to change that. Tap it and then rotate the main tuning dial counterclockwise and it turns it off. And then I can just hit exit. So you see I have the noise re noise blanker, noise reduction, AGC turned off. Another thing that I might want to do is change the filter width. And I hold in that soft button for a second and it brings up this menu. And uh, normally the default on uh, digital or data is 1.2 and I change that by touching the bandwidth button and rotating the main tuning dial clockwise and now I have a, a wider filter touch the exit a couple of times it takes me out so now my radio is set up and I can connect with Ham Radio Deluxe and that'll be the next part.
One thing I neglected to mention, when you turn AGC off, remember to turn your RF gain down. Otherwise, you might get an overload, and it's pretty loud. Okay, let's take a look at Ham Radio Deluxe and the Connect window. I have a few presets here, uh, one for my ICOM 7000, and I use that in my vehicle. And then one for the 7300 and COM4 is my USB cable. And another one, COM6, is my CIV cable. So uh, assuming you're using two cables, let's uh, take a look at it. Uh, the uh, connect looks like this. The uh, radio is set to the IC7300. Uh, COM6 is my CIV cable. The baud rate is set to 9600 and I found that the uh, slower speeds, at least for me, are more reliable. And the CIV address is already populated and uh, RTS is checked. Now if I was just going to use uh, the USB cable, take a look at it. That's uh, my COM4, again the radio, the IC7300 speed at 96, the CIV address at 94, and the RTS checked. The difference is in the uh, radio settings and uh, back on the connector screen in the radio menu the USB send would be set to off or to DTR and uh, that'll work for you. So let's go ahead and connect. I select uh, this, I have the two cables uh, set up and I'm going to bring up uh, HRD logbook hit connect and wait for my logbook to come up we'll see that it's connected and it's over on my uh, other screen bring it over here and there's just a few things that I like uh, I like to do uh, to make things easier and operating easier. One thing is I like to connect to hrdlog.net and it uploads my QSOs automatically. So we'll go in Tools, Configure, then down to hrdlog.net and I've selected Upload every time a logbook entry is added and I've also selected uh, the on-air regularly upload current frequency mode and radio and uh, this is pretty neat I mean this is like uh, uh, self-spotting and another thing that hrdlog.net allows you to do is if you have a Twitter account you can connect your Twitter account so when I uh, upload a QSO, it goes to hrdlog.net and then automatically goes to my Twitter account. So uh, people know where I'm operating and uh, it also sends the, uh, the uh, current frequency and mode and, and the radio that I'm on to Twitter. So again, it's kind of like self-spotting. So I really like that feature in uh, hrdlog.net. Uh, the next thing I like to do is to send my logs or my contacts uh, to E2SL and again I've got this check upload every time an entry is added to the logbook and uh, this works really well And finally, the uh, last, uh, qrz.com, and if you're a subscriber, you can get the API key, put it in there, and then check upload every time an entry is added to the logbook. And it uploads your QSOs to your QRZ logbook. So those are uh, three uh, nice things that I like. It, uh, the only thing left for me to do, really, is to go in and upload to logbook of the world so pretty much everything is automated
The next program we're going to go into is WSJTX. Once you get it installed, just open it up and you'll see that I already have a rig control set up and I'm using uh, Ham Radio Deluxe. So let's go to the file settings and the first tab you have your call sign entered grid square and I believe most of this is the default I have double click on call sets transmit enabled so when I see a call and I double click on it it enables to transmit automatically I also have disabled transmit after sending 73 and uh, sometimes I found that sometimes I forget to uh, uh, halt the uh, transmit after I send 73 and uh, that continues to transmit after the next cycle so this is just a little precaution the next uh, the important one is radio and I'm using ham radio deluxe and the, the reason I use ham radio deluxe is because I, I normally have it going all the time anyway uh, so uh, I'm using ham radio deluxe the push to talk is cat and uh, this I believe is all the same the split operation is really handy and uh, I like to use rig sometimes but I found with ham radio deluxe set as the rig that the split operation doesn't work right with rig selected so I have to use fake it and uh, the reason for using split operation I'll explain that uh, on my website it goes into a little bit more detail but it does come in handy the audio is set to my uh, COM4 the USB audio codec input and output and uh, the rest of these I've added some uh, transmit macros Uh, on the reporting tab, I've got check prompt me to log the QSO. And on my website, I'll put some more snapshots up of this. But I think everything is pretty much uh, left to the default. So we'll click OK. And you'll see the uh, green label here has an S in it and that's because I'm in split mode another thing that I like uh, when I'm operating is I don't have the lock transmit and receive on when I'm running a frequency I find that sometimes people will call me off the frequency and if this is checked when I go to answer them I'll start transmitting on the frequency that they're on and I lose the frequency that I've been calling on so I've got that unchecked now if I'm just searching and pouncing uh, sometimes that's checked um, I found that I, I don't really need to have it checked I've got another video up uh, detailing more information about the waterfall and uh, I've seen some other uh, waterfalls people use and the dark background the black and I like that too uh, this is just set to DigiPan. I'll put a link below to my video uh, describing more about the Y graph. But uh, that's it for WSJTX. Next we'll do JT Alert.